and welcome back to another video. So I made this in Paint 3D. Uh, it just took me a few minutes. I've got I've got like healer set up for like uh, Minecraft add-on bedrock add-ons. So I've got must-have add-ons. So these are add-ons that, in my opinion, if you're doing a world of add-ons on it, you should have them or some or well, we'll go into like uh, some of the ones that uh, that you could have, you know. But yeah, that's basically the idea that you must have them. Like if you have, if you only have one add-on, one add-on, then these all these are pretty, you know, pretty good for that one add-on. There's highly recommended, so um, they're not must-have, but they really improve the uh, experience of Minecraft, in my opinion. So they're highly recommended. You should consider. So these are add-ons that I think are generally good but have like some problems or may not or when added into a world with other add-ons may cause some problems so, and I'll go into the, those reasons later and add-ons you probably shouldn't to add so these are just like add-ons I think are you know bad or just aren't really worth adding into your world so let's get started where so I'm the, again, all of these add-ons I have reviewed and uh, probably done update videos on if they've received updates. You can find them all in my playlist uh, on my channel. Uh, so we're gonna so we're gonna do, do this in alphabetical order. Uh, so we're gonna start off with the fifteen-year party supply add-on that uh, Minecraft released for the fifteen-year anniversary of Minecraft. So, magic select next. So, yeah, uh, now I can just get rid of that. So I think this, uh, yeah, I think this is actually uh, good in here. Uh, you you should uh, probably consider it because it does have like some cool like birthday decorations and stuff, but it doesn't really impact the uh, survival experience. So if you're like on a multiplayer realm, uh, you could add it, and, and then if it's like one of your friends' birthdays, you can set up like a whole birthday thing for them. But it, you know. Not, I, uh, yeah, I wouldn't really like highly recommend it or say it's must have, but it, you know, it's a, it's one that you can consider that you should consider adding. Uh, next up, <coughs> no, Lily, I know you like attentions, but I give you attentions all the time. I mean, you didn't want attentions before I started the recording the video. And now, and you're like, nah, no, I want attention now, daddy. Yeah, bite your hand. I bite your hand. Mwah. Ah, I get ya. I get ya. Yeah. Alright, so next up is the, is all the wool add on. So, yeah, really? Okay. So, we. Uh, magic select next. Ian. Yeah. So again, this will all go into like uh, you should definitely consider adding all the wool because uh, it does add a bunch of like new walls and like building blocks and stuff. So it is kind of cool. But well, again, it doesn't impact the survival, uh, like, the actual, like, s survival aspect of the, no, of the game. So it's not, like, anyway, again, same, a bit, a bit like, like, pretty cool, but not a must-have. Uh, Now, the 
No. Crazy dog. Anyway, uh, so next up is the uh, advanced compass add-on. Now, <laughs> I, I feel a bit bad adding all of these into the same tier list, but yeah, it's yeah, it is a cool add-on uh, with some like unique, with some, like useful compasses. But I wouldn't say it's high. I, I would highly recommend it. Or, um. Or like, like, you, you definitely should like watch the review and just be like, mm, yeah, maybe I might add it, maybe not. Depend, it really just like depends on the person. Yeah, on to the next one. Okay, finally. Got one that's going in a different tier. tier. Uh, and it is... Give me a moment. Advanced Power Suits. Now, this is going in highly recommend. Uh, because it, uh, it is just like a really, uh, uh, you know, good one for like, uh, if you want to do something late game, because like it adds a bunch of like super, you know, advanced like power suits that are, that's somewhat difficult to find. Like the most, uh, powerful one, the best one in my opinion, the astral set, uh, it requires five never stars. Uh, so realistically speaking, I would, that, that's, uh, so you, I don't mind messed that up. Uh, so that basically means that you're gonna have to fight the river five times. Either that or you use another add on that we'll talk about later. But yeah, it is, you know, it's got some cool, and all the, and I do like the design of all like the power suits and all of them like, and it's not just solely for like late game as well. There's there are some uh, power suits that you can make early game. Uh, early one in the game as well, so it's not solely uh, end game stuff. But it's nice to have like you know, um, yes. You know, a super advanced like OPR and set to work uh, towards getting. So I'll put you there. And next up is the air drops add on. And again, we got a different tier, a new tier. Here to put this in. Control V. Magic select. Next. Hey, uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't see anything that's gonna be removed that I don't want. Removed. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to take this. And we're going down into... you. In my opinion, you probably shouldn't add this add-on. Because it's just a bit too OP, in my opinion. Like, randomly, like... Well, not randomly, but yeah, you can get, like, some really good stuff... Uh, if you just like get lucky and like a zombie drops a good or something drops a good uh, 
uh, remote or whatever it was last month I'm down it's been a while since I did the review of it uh, but yeah uh, I don't really use it because like I said it could just be a bit too OP with like uh, the tridents with like super OP enchantments and all that so can't really recommend it But, uh, you know, if you watch a review and decide that you want that add-on or add-on, then yeah, you can add that. Or if you like a, or if you like some reason to want to, because like maybe you have like a bunch of add-ons that are that had like um, really difficult mobs to fight and then making it less OP. I guess I don't know, but it's just not. I just don't think it's a good add-on. Everything considered, like right. it's not that like it's low quality. It's just like. Again, two up, two OP. Two. Next up is the alchemy add-on. Uh, new. Uh, no. So, oh, come on, I have to, uh, uh, and if you're curious, this is how I, uh, I do this, like, uh, with my thumbnails, I get, uh, one of the, you know, I just get the thumbnail from the marketplace using the snipping tool, then I magic select away the border and try to keep the stuff in the center, but sometimes you just, like, miss little things like that. And it can be a bit annoying sometimes. Bending on the thing by you. There we go. So alchemy add-on is gonna go into mm, highly recommended. So if you don't know the alchemy add-on, basically it adds uh, the alchemy station, and you can. Uh, and it gives every item an essence value. And uh, if you put an item in the center of the alchemy station, and the items in the and if you and if you put enough items in the left hand side uh, with the with enough essence value, you're gonna get more of the item in the center. It's basically a way to like make more of any item vanilla well not any vanilla item, but uh, you know, a bunch of like vanilla items, most vanilla items. Um and just like make more of them using like stuff you don't want. So if you like a bunch of if you have like some a bunch of rotten flesh uh, from like a zombie spawn or something, you can just like put it in and uh, use it to make uh, to make whatever you want. So you need like wood or maybe even like diamonds if you have like a ton of rotten flesh. Um, and it is really good in my opinion, and it makes a lot of, like stuff that's non renewable renewable. Like the dragon eggs, the dragon egg has an essence value, which means and it is a very high essence value, but so it is very expensive. So you could use it, to, uh, so it gives the uh, dragon egg a use because you could just use it for its essence value and it, uh, uh, just get a bunch of like diamonds or whatever from it if you just if you don't care about having an ender dragon egg. Or you could just, or you can use it to use the alchemy station to make more dragon eggs. Um, so yeah, it is. I would highly recommend adding this to your world. The only reason it is not in must-have add-ons is because the the alchemy add-on adds the essence value value to items. It causes a couple of problems. Firstly, you can't um, <coughs> you can't uh, use pick block anymore because the game sees the item with an essence value uh, in your inventory different. Differently to the uh, to the block on the ground, so that is a big downside of this. Uh, but you can you you can still use the builders one from a different animals, and we'll talk about that later. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, and the, the second problem is um, when the items are thrown on the ground by a dispenser, they don't always get an. Essence value, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, it's a bit weird. So it can make, use like water streams to make, um, to, uh, well, it makes making item filters difficult because 
you know, because it sees them as two different items, um, then it's just not gonna, uh, with the item filter, it's not gonna really work. And as soon as they go into your inventory, they get an essence value. So you can't put them in your inventory and, there, and then put them in there without giving them an essence value. So it causes a couple of problems, but again, the, the up, in my opinion, the upsides uh, overweigh the downsides quite a bit, but there are a few downsides to them. Yeah. So, moving on to the next add on. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to have much to say about this one. Uh, if I could go to the right window, that would be great. But we've got another one for you should consider, but this has a little bit of an ask as to so it's the another furniture add-on. So, you should consider this if you want a furniture add-on. Like, it's not going to ruin your world or anything, but it's just like, there's not really much I can say about it. Oh god, this is one of the this is the worst one. Oh my god, look how messy it is. Right, so yeah, it's not gonna like ruin your world by adding it, but it's just like I'm not really you know if you know if you want to finish right on look up a review of it and the there may be a couple of other furniture add-ons on the marketplace and uh, see which one you prefer because they all because they do have like different uh, furniture and different uh, recipes uh, you know and ways of like acquiring them I'm not be I'm not really a furniture add-on fan myself so I I don't really add the yeah, I missed it. I don't really care enough about this one, so we do we can get that in. So that can go there. Uh, what is this one called again? I'm a plus plus. I think I remember this one. And I think I had like problems with it not being super consistent with stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, with like the crafting recipes and stuff, I had a few problems. Yeah. Oh, did he ever get updated? No. Uh, honestly, I'm going to have to put this one in. You probably shouldn't add it because, like I said, it was like, if I'm not misremembering, this is the uh, armor add-on that, uh, like, wasn't, like, the uh, bulk didn't, like, t tell you how to craft them prop. Oh, my God, I hate this. Go back. Cancel. Can I? Hold on. What if I uh, just crop? Right. Control Z. Right. Control Z. Control V. Crop. Okay, new. For some reason, crop does that. Yeah. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go from there. 
Put it there. There we go. Oh wait. Pull that there. Yeah, like he just had like yeah, like, like I said, just had like problems with like the guidebook being incorrect, some of the uh, um abilities not working properly, or just not being very good at all. So yeah, that can go there. Next up, got pl bosses plus. So, yeah, which one was this? There was a couple of more bosses. Oh, yeah, this. Yeah, I remember this. So, yeah, basically, this one added a bunch of like bosses you could summon. I'll put this in. You should con. You should probably consider it. <laughs> because it is a. Uh, does add some cool bosses, but it's not really super good. Like, if you want. If you just want some more boss, boss fights, that's cool, but. The items in there weren't very good, and they were, like, expensive to repair, so. You're not going to get super good items on them, so if you just want, you know, a few bosses that are a bit more difficult to fight than most of what you find in vanilla Minecraft, other than the Wither boss fight, then that would be cool. That that is a good add-on to add. Okay, so we yeah, got a double whammy here. Oh, can I do this? So I've got these two backpack add-ons. Can I manage to right so I'm gonna add Yeah, this is what I mean when sometimes these can be a bit annoying to do. Well, yeah, that was too bad. Oh, for some reason you want the vent out. Oh. Sometimes it'll just automatically deselect stuff when you're selecting more stuff. And it's like, why? I told you. Can I also get this in as well, please? Ooh, well, this is not going to be cooperative. Right, can I just quickly remove... Oh no. Oh. And then we moved. Ah! Why did you do that? That'll do. Yeah, 
Yeah, basically, these two add-ons, you know, uh, watch a review of both of them, and then decide which one you like better, and then add that to your realm, or maybe just add both. There's no reason to not add both, really. So they will go... Uh, yeah, they should, they'll go and you should consider them. Mm, basic machinery. I'm um, already a bit sad about this, but basic machinery is unfortunate. Hold on. Let's get this in here first before I start spoiling where it's going to go. Done. Oops. So basic machinery is unfortunately gonna go into you probably shouldn't add it. And there's a couple of reasons why. <laughs> it is a cool add-on, but it's got but like the it's got problems and it just breaks randomly and it's got and it's falls like board and it's been out for a while and it's not been updated to fix the problems of it, so I'm gonna have to assume that it's not gonna be updated. Like I'm gonna double check real quick, make sure it hasn't been updated to, with any bug fixes, but yeah, no, it's not been updated with any bug fixes and it's been out for a while. And there's just other add-ons that to uh do a lot of the same things, just better and not buggy. And I just can't really recommend it, unfortunately. So I just, like I said, there's just add-ons that do what it does, but just less buggy. Well, not everything that it does. There are some things unique to it, but I really can't recommend it because, like I said, sometimes it just has a habit of just, like, not working. Now here we go, an add-on that I'm not going to be negative about, the Better Jukeboxes add-on. Now I just want to say this real quick in the video, but when I did a review of this, I was expecting to get uh, copyright claims, and I don't think I actually did, yeah. Which was like really cool. It's, like, because like I got it like uh, with like one of the backpack add-ons that like, one of them have uh, has like a music backpack, and the music that played got me copyright uh, claimed. And I was so expecting this to just like give me a bunch of copyright claims, but no, not a single one. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, and I really. Uh, I really appreciate that because it's pain, but when you get to false claim and then you have to like go through the whole rigmarole of like disputing it to at least once and then maybe twice and like the second time you're basically saying not up and sue me or go away but anyway yeah uh, this is a really cool add-on with a lot of new music and I would highly recommend this the only <laughs> the only thing that's stopping me from making this up is from the making this uh, a must-have add-on is Basically, they add new mu ways to play m music discs because you can't, they can't add, uh, they can't make their custom music discs playable on a vanilla, uh, on a vanilla jukebox. So they added their custom music players, which, if you want a more vanilla experience, it kind of takes. It kind of breaks out, and it is very like, and they're all like, based off like real like, world objects, which they the, the models are cool and the animations are cool and everything, but 
if, again, if you wanted to play more of a vanilla style experience, it kind of pull, it kind of breaks that kind of vanilla style experience. So, yeah, I think it would be cool if they like uh, added just like a uh, vanilla, a vanilla style jukebox that play, that plays just like an upgraded jukebox or something that plays their new music discs that basically looks almost exactly the same as a regular jukebox or something. And then that, then it would there be in like, and then it would probably be in must have. So then you could just ignore all the other, uh, you know, music plays and just use the vanilla style one. Hmm. Hmm, I'm just thinking with Beyond Survival. So basically this does that this has a bunch of stuff. They get I did get updated, but I hmm. Uh hmm. It's pretty cool. Hmm. I don't know if I would highly recommend it because um, in the review of this add-on, uh, I was in like my survival world, but for some reason they, they just stopped loading those worlds, that world, that end, so I can't load that world anymore. So uh, I switched to a new review world, but um, in that world, they, the, uh, Got these like golems were just constantly spawning and they would destroy stuff so it would basically mean that making your base in that in those that biome is impossible and I've not seen anything about them making it so they don't uh, destroy stuff anymore so I'm gonna have to say you should probably consider it but that I can but there are reasons why you probably wouldn't want to add it because like I said uh, if you want, if you you know those golems falling in out like in your base and like smashing it up all the time would be annoying. And sometimes they would like and I and in the review they did bug out, but that, that world was a bit buggy, so it could just be in the world. But they would sometimes just, like just not uh, you know go away when they died. Hmm. Um, Oh, no, I did not want to do that. What have I done? Anyway. Um... Next up is a biome pet, which I'm having a bit of a bit of trouble really deciding where I want to Put this. I don't mean, uh, I have a bit of a negative like opinion of it because I I kind of I want I don't want to say half assed the review of it, but I can I, I definitely didn't put my all into the review because I just didn't basically want to wait around for a bunch of them to spawn. Uh, I didn't basically just didn't want to. a bunch of work into a review that probably was going to be very entertaining and uh, like they're kind of cute pets oh, wait oh they got an update and it's new to set anyway um hmm. that's a kind of cute but they're not really very good uh,
I think I'll put it in you you should consider it because if you want cute pet a cute pet add-on that is a that is a very good cute pet add-on. He's a good cupid, uh, but, mm. and next up is the block blaster. Again, I'm going to put this into like, you should probably consider it because it does add some cool, the Blood Blaster is a cool item and it does have some, it does do some cool things, but it's not a must have. Or, and I can't really that highly recommend it because, you know, it's not super useful, but it's, you know, it can, you, you can have some fun with it, but, you know. And there's also a way to get to get uh, spawn eggs in vanilla survival, which can be bad because if you get a creeper, then you can make a creeper spawn and get infinite uh, gunpowder that way. Ooh, yeah, right. Yeah, there's a vision. All right, let me go to here. Troll V. We've got the Combine Ors add-on. Now, this add-on is going in highly recommended. Bordering on must-have. I, I don't think it, I don't quite think it is a must-have. But he, he is, yeah, well, actually, hmm, is it a, ah, hmm, must have, hmm, hmm, you know what, yeah, it is a must have add on, in my, in my opinion, because it just adds, like, a bunch of cool new armor and weapons and stuff, and the, the with like cool unique abilities and it, yeah it's just a good add-on. Just a really good add-on. Oh, I missed, uh, I accidentally skipped one. And that add-on that I accidentally skipped is a combine items add-on. Now this add-on, I did a review of it a bit back. It's not been updated since, so is going in, yeah, no, I really don't think you should add this one. It's just not a good add on, like a bunch, and it doesn't, like, you see this, like, a uh, torch crossbow here? That's not even in the add on. They put that in the, in its thumbnail app for no, for I know they didn't even add that, so it's just like, why is that in the thumbnail? Yeah, just not a good add on. Next up is the chest pet add-on. Now, I played with this a bunch when it when it first came out uh, after I did a review of it because you know there weren't many add-ons back then. So I did play around with it, and I gotta say 
I can't really recommend this at all because uh, the uh, mimics they will just spawn anywhere like even if it's lit up they will spawn there and they get really annoying like you'll just be messing around in your world especially if you like if you if you live like in a village like if you have like an iron farm and in your base they're gonna spawn even more um and yeah it's just that they're just like it's just a they just get really annoying I don't really think the chest pet, you know, the chest out guys, I just don't really think they're worth it. Have to deal with all the mimics. Next up is the uh, combat utilities. Add on. Um, what am I doing? Where? Where? I. There it is. I had trouble finding paint. So, combat utilities. Mm -hmm. uh. I'm going to put this in Yeah, I yeah, I'm gonna put it in you should consider it, but there are other add-ons that do Ah oh, god damn it with the Thing, uh, what I didn't, uh, there are just basically there are, is a good add on, and if you're not, and if you don't have any other add ons, it, it is uh, a you know a good one if you like help if you want health bars and stuff, but it can, but there's like other add ons that. Add uh, like health bars and damage indicators and stuff as well as a bunch of other stuff. So it become so yeah, and also health bar and yeah, the health bar system is a bit odd, uh, a bit finicky sometimes. So you should consider it, but I won't. I won't touch. You know, I can't strongly recommend it. Next up is one I really like, but it hasn't been updated in a while, unfortunately. Hopefully that will get updated soon. But this is definitely highly recommended. The uh, combine, uh, the compressed blocks add-on. Basically, it's just like, you can take blocks and you can compress them into like blocks, like blocks of cookies and stuff, and it basically helps you with your storage problems if you have like a bunch of, you know, an item. And do they have some cool? And they do have some good textures and stuff, and they can also be used for like building and decorating. So I would put that in highly recommended. Like not must have, but really highly recommended. Yeah. Computers. There has been an update to this, but I've not done an update video of the third update. I did the update video of the second update. Um, this year's getting a bit full, but it's gonna go in the. You should consider adding it to ya.
Yeah, so it's a cool add on, but it can't, you know, you know, it just depends on your world. Also, also, hold on, before I forget. Uh, make 3D. There we go. Make 3D. Shower! Oh. Yeah, I'm going my mind is going off. Got that would go off. But I'm gonna need to expand this, so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm just gonna take these, make them 3D, so, I can meet, so they don't get stretched out, because I think if I don't make them 3D and I just expand the canvas size, it's gonna stretch them all out. Yeah, I don't think he'll do that if they're 3D. So, canvas. There we go. Uh, and now I just need to expand the lines a bit. Oh yeah, I remember. I need to do that. There we go. And just expand it to there. So yeah, while I'm doing this, I'm going to take a quick this uh, break to it. It's uh, there. To basically tell you that I have a Discord. It's free to join. Link is in the description. I have a uh, Discord members realm that has add-ons on it. So if you want to join that, feel free. To down again down in the description below and yeah so uh what I'm gonna do yeah, yeah so I gotta go to the next one so yeah Uh, all this up there. Yeah, there we go. Right. So next up, we have raftable houses. Now, this is probably gonna. Oh. Magic select next. This is probably going to go in, I wouldn't personally recommend it. Because uh, they're not, well, it does have some good looking buildings. They're not really good for like bases or anything. They're really just good for like, um, you know, if you have like a, if you're building like a village and you want like some like just uh, building, a bit like a city and you just like want some buildings to Fill it in, then it's good, but um, I just remember like they weren't you can't really like make a good like permanent base in one, so I don't know. I just don't really like it personally. 
<laughs> okay. So, uh, this one, uh, so this is, a, this is one of the ones on the, uh, Discord members realm, and, um, <laughs> it has, uh, caused some, uh, funny stuff to happen with, like, one of the, uh, members just, like, in the unit, a bunch. <laughs> Made different creepers, and yeah, it is a cool add-on. Um, yeah, it is a lot of fun. Uh, the, the, and each creeper does have like a unique uh, drop that doesn't drop off any other uh, mobs. Like they're not new items. They are just like well, not every creeper. Like the uh, mummy creeper, when you kill him or when he explodes, it it creates. Silverfish. But yeah, they are a lot of fun. Also, the snow creepers are a way of getting powdered snow. So yeah, I would put this in highly recommended because I really do like it. And there are a bunch of like cool creepers. Uh, the only thing is that it's not like the most in-depth like that or that. Just like add-on is just, but it is a cool like small uh, add-on. It does, it does one thing, it does that thing really well. So yeah. Next up, got the cute golems. Uh, if I remember correct, yeah, I, I, yeah, if I remember correctly, this wasn't a very good add-on. I did get up, right? So, did get updated, but I've not checked out the updates, so I don't know if it fixed my problems from my original review. So it could be a much better add-on now, but. Um, it, well, I don't, I just don't know, I can't say, I can't say, I'm not going to place it based on what it could be, I'm just going to place on what, how, on like my experience with it when I review it, so yeah, uh, I'm going to go take a quick uh, break, I've got a couple of things I need to uh, check real quick, and then I'll be right back, and I've also, I've been recording for almost an hour, so I think yeah, taking a quick break is fine. Right, I'm back. So, which one did we just do? It was cute guns, I'm pretty sure. So next up, we have health bars and damage indicators. So this is gonna be in the same tier as the other one because like I said you should consider it if you do, if you just like got a couple of add-ons like gravestones and stuff but there's all the add-ons that kind of make it a bit redundant because it adds damage indicators and health, I'm not really a big fan of the health bars how they did the health bars because of, yeah and it's not really the add-ons fault it's just like limitations are like what Mojang arbitrarily put on the add-on developers. Well, maybe not all of them are arbitrary, but they, it's just how they, how they seem and see, seem to me. They just seem a bit arbitrary sometimes. Here you. Yeah, like I said, if you do you have me, next up is the dwellers add on. Now, I'm just gonna ah, 
I didn't consider this, but um Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, the Dwellers add on over here. Like if you're running a horror realm or you know, or if you do it for like Halloween or if it if you just wanna run do a horror realm, then Dwellers is re you know really good. Horror add on. I think all the horror add ons are really well done. I had a uh, good time reviewing all of them, but uh, yeah, if that's just like if you're so I'll put it over here because that's if you if you do like a hover realm. And next up we have DecoCraft. And this is going to be in the you should pro, you uh, should consider it uh, here with the other decoration add on because it's a double it's, okay, it's just the same reasons as the last one. If you want to want furniture add on, look at the decoration, look at reviews for those two, and see which one you prefer, or just add both if you want both, or whatever you want to do. I really just do not care about these kind of add-ons. Well, I can't, oh, I mean, oh, whatever, I, I missed a bit, whatever, it's fine, I don't care. See it. And then he's whinging at me. Come here then, Winchy Woos. Come here. Look at this. Come here. Come here. There you go. Right. And next up we have Detector. I'm going to put it in, you should consider it, because it is a, a really uh, well done add-on and it's been updated to uh, be compatible with add-on ores as well, so... It is a... So it is cool. It's, it is a good add-on, it's just like... I just don't personally use it, just because I, I just don't. Really. Also, the magic select thing was not liking this one for some reason. Yeah, if, like, but it'll just like for arbitrary reasons, just like not like a certain thumbnail from the, from them. So it'll just oh god damn it! And sometimes with like the darker colors, it can be hard to t uh, notice that it's been cut off. Okay, that's... Oh, oh wait, no! Mmm! It cut out a bit of the sky. Why? Oh, wait, no. What did I just do? Oh, okay. I just re-put that in. Uh -huh. mm. oh. Alright. Uh... This is going to be a pain in the butt. Mm. 
next. Okay, I didn't miss anything this time. Microsoft really needs to, needs to like update that magic select thing to make it not shit. Like, come on. Alright, dead head tour. You should probably consider it, but I'm not. It is like, it is a really, really well done album, but it's just like not one that I really use. Okay, go off. You yeah. So uh, what am I doing? So we've got another one for the you should consider it here. The Dogs add on. Now, it does add a bunch of thing, you know, new breeds of dogs, and you can play with them and stuff. My only real problem is that it's not, um, you know, super. In, you know, it's just not really my kind of thing. But it is, it is, you know, well done, and it's not really gonna hurt your world if you. Add it in. I hate magic select sometimes. They just uh, magically se selectively just for fucking. It's so hard to see as well sometimes with like dark uh, colors. Right, there we go. Just... There we go. And cut to that. Yeah, like I said, it is a good well made add on is just like not soup yeah, you know, not a ton of like stuff to do really. You just like play with your pets and play with your dogs and then that's the add on so that's why it's not a must have or highly recommended. Okay, next up we have the Dragon Fire add on. It's been updated since I uh, reviewed it, but I just because uh, I just not really done an update video on it because I'm not like super interested. In it. Like it does, it, like if you're looking for a dragon add-on, it is a good dragon add-on, and there's also like a light version, so you can like da download the light version for free and try that out. Yeah, oh. yeah, it is a good add-on, but no, I like I said, uh, I, and it does add a bunch of new armors, but I just don't really care for it. And it was cool when it was like one of the few add-ons I was. You know, released, but you now that a bunch of other add-ons have been released, I just kind of feel like I just don't really care for it. Also, in this tier, we've got these guys: the dungeon, uh, dun dungeons and bosses add-on. It has a bunch of new dungeons and bosses, but the problem with them is that they're very easy to kill. Yeah, 
So that they don't really provide any necessary security. So yeah, if you want to like mid game challenge, then that's good. But if you want a late game challenge, then I just wouldn't really bother. Oh. Yeah, this one's a bit disappointing. So, this hasn't been updated in a while, unfortunately. I really should, like, I, the, uh, Alan Devs did message me on Discord and I haven't spoken to them in a while. I should probably, like, message them and say, hey, what's going on with the Evolving Mobs add-on? But it's, like, it's a really cool idea, but, and, it, but the, like, execution is just, like, too flawed. Because, uh, as you'll see, like, uh, as you saw, like, in my, uh, update review of it, uh, they added like uh, starter mobs and stuff, which was cool, but they would just like attack, like, at, you know, just, like they would just like randomly target an NC that's underground, and they were. And I was talking to them about it, but it's, they've just not released an update for some reason, and it's like I, I kind of can't recommend this, like. When it gets like updated to like fix one of these issues, I, I it would go up to you should probably consider it because it is a pretty cool add on, but it's just like they, they would I don't know what I don't, I don't even know what happened. I was like talking with them and they were like, Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna update it in the future. And they never it just never got updated. Well they did get one update, but not but they've just not updated it since and it's just been months. Okay, next up is Economy Plus. Um, now, this one... Uh, this is a, this is a cool add-on. It does add a, add a few, a, a few cool things. Uh, my only problem with it is that, uh... Is that the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the money, the cash, thing that they add is basically as valuable as an NFT, which uh, basically means um, that it only has any value as long as people want it. And then as soon as people decide they'd rather be paid in diamonds and the cash, then it's useless. Uh, but to, uh, I have talked with the developers of this add-on. And they have confirmed they are working on updates, and I have seen some of the work they've done. It's been publicly uh, shown in their uh, in their Discord, and they are doing uh, some good work with it. So I'm gonna put. It, I'm actually gonna do something. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put it here, right in between. You should consider it and highly recommend it because. Once they get the update out that um, makes it so the uh, makes it so that the uh, currency can be uh, traded for uh, like uh, you, you know useful items like diamonds and stuff without the need of like. Trading with other players, you know, actually giving it value and stuff, then it'll be in highly recommend. But right now, it's only really good for like the market stalls and it, and and if you and it, you know, oh, and it's and like the cash is good if you're doing like a role play server, like you're role playing in like a city and stuff. That's good. That it's good for that. But yeah, uh, it's can't. It's kind of, you know, just on the border of ha of like highly recommended, and you know you should consider it. And like I said, once 
the cash can be converted into something value, actually valuable, then it's going to be highly recommended. But I do not know when that update's coming out. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, what is this add on? Well, elemental swimming? Yeah, elemental bending. Oh. I remember this add on. Oh, it was such a disappointment. Oh my god. I was so disappointed when I reviewed this. I was like, oh my, well, before I reviewed it, I was like, oh my god, this could be like the coolest add on uh, on the marketplace. After reviewing it, oh my god, they fudged the, it up. Like, they screwed the pooch hard on this one. I, I think it has received an. Uh, an update since but I don't know if it's managed to fix those my issues and honestly and like I said again I can't review on what it could be and I'm having to review on what I know you know from my personal experience experience and from my personal experience the items were too difficult to get and did uh, way too little damage to the point where you can't kill a witch with one of that with with any of them So, yeah, no, can't recommend. Elemental crops. So, this is a no. This is another highly recommended add on from me. Because, um, uh, you know, it adds a cool armor set, and the even, but even if you like other have other armor add-ons that you're using instead, it's still worth, uh, it's still worth using it because um, the uh, essence and stuff can be used to, to craft the items, like. Uh, Items that you can, like vanilla items and stuff, so it, uh, you know, gives it use other than just outside of just making armor and stuff. And if you don't have alchemy, uh, then it's, well, even if you, if you don't have alchemy, then it's uh, a way of, like, making them renewable. And if you do have alchemy, then it's just the more another way of getting them some essence. But yeah. Uh, oh yes. That is. One hit. Next up is Essentials. Now this is a another must have add on. Because uh, while it does overlap with some other add-ons, it, uh, you know, they do, it does have some unique functionality, and while there are, like, items in it, I could understand why you wouldn't want added into your world, you can disable almost anything, I'm pretty sure. So if there's anything in it you don't want, to, uh, you to use or for other people to use, you can just turn it off. And uh, uh, yeah, and it, it, I, I really like his tree captator. Uh, basically, you have to craft an item and have that item on you and turned on, and it'll like destroy the entire tree, including the leaves. Um, but it won't do damage to your tool's durability, and I think that's fit. And I think that's quite well balanced, uh, considering uh, that you know. Uh, you have to make, uh, it is a bit expensive to make. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Next up is the Furniture 1.3 add-on. 
Again, it's going to go with the other furniture add-ons. Now you, take, you should take a look at them, uh, figure out whether or not you like them, or, and we, or which one you like the most, and then add it. If you like it, and if you don't like it, don't add it. I don't... I, I really just don't care about these add-ons. It's why I don't do... It's why I don't do... Reviews of these add-ons anymore. These kind of add-ons. I just really don't care. For them. Next up is the farming pots add-on. Now, this one, wish I put this one? Uh, I'm going to think, I think I'm going to put it in you should consider Say that it. Because it is a decent add-on, but and it would be a bit and it would be like really good on like a, a flat world or well actually you can't really get it on flat or super or sky block. So yeah, it would be like really good on like flat and sky blocks, but you can't really get it because you can't get terracotta on flat or sky blocks, so Oh well, yeah, yeah, no, you, know, you, you can't get dripstone. Like if it if it added a way to get terracotta in flat and sky block, then it would be in must have. But yeah, if you want flat or sky blocks, then yeah, no, you can't really. Well, no, it wouldn't be a must have. It would be highly recommended, but, but it doesn't add any way to get terracotta, so you have to go out and get. So yeah, it makes it unusable in like flat and sky block, so which is like I said, is like two of the biggest reasons why like ta yeah, two times that you really wanna use it. Anyway, uh next up is feed the bees. And I'm gonna put feed the bees in highly recommended. This is just straight up a good add-on. Uh, and I do, I do quite like it. And yeah, it's just a good way of like getting, uh, Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Next up is Forest Craft, and we've got two bangers in a row. Forest Craft is also going to go in highly recommended because it just adds a bunch of new trees and some new f and a bunch of new foods and new planks and that and everybody loves it when the when the, you get new trees and blocks to build with and yeah. So this one is going to go in highly recommended. Now, this add-on I've actually soured a bit on uh, as time's gone on, and it's the Golem Pet add-on. Now, the Golem Bat doesn't attack a bunch of mobs. And I have reported that to them, but they've not released, released an update in months uh, fixing it. Uh, and it's kind of... Like, uh, I did do like a big like a uh, 
media like comparing like the different way like all Beatles versus uh Golden Pets and all that and yeah. But, like some of the Golden Pets just don't really like the chest fox just doesn't do what it's supposed to do. And while there's like a bunch of like different sheep you can get and it does make some stuff like the terracottas uh infinitely renewable. I just kind of, I just, I guess you could, hmm. It's not, right, it's not going to actively make your world worse. But, because of some of the problems, I can't really put it in. I can't really put it in, uh. Recommend. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna put it in. You. Sh I'm gonna put it halfway between. You should. Uh, you shouldn't add, and you should consider because. The basic meaning you should consider it, but I wouldn't really recommend it because. Like I said there's just add-ons that do what it does, but better on some of the. Features and just don't work, so it's kind of a hard recommendation. Uh, and this one's gonna get the same. Treatment, and this is the grappling hooks at all. It does add some cool grappling hooks, but I just, uh, I just don't think it's really that good. And there's all the bad ones that, uh, well, after you, after a while, yeah, it's just kind of a decent add on, but I just, you're just not really going to be using it a ton like, to get later in the game. So, like, some of the more useful grappling hooks, uh, abilities are like, do basically like, Duplicated in like other add-ons that don't require you to use a grappling hook. So it's kind of like the farming grappling hook uh, It automatically like replants crops and there's uh, other add-on that uh, Does that god damn I hate it. So like sometimes it can be such or not so annoying Like what? How does it make the decision on what to want things I want and what's wrong? Like it's just, yeah. Right, and then I'm just gonna go into three D view, play it out, exit out three D view. They're gonna put that there with that. Because it's got some cool things but I can't really recommend it, but it's not really gonna harm your world, so maybe look into it, I don't know, uh, but yeah. Anyway, uh here's another add-on. Here's a good add-on. The gravestones add-on. So I'm gonna put this in highly recommended. Now there are other add-ons that have uh, a grave function, but if you just want a simple gravestone add-on with uh, nothing else, this is a really good add-on and it works really well. The only reason it's not high is because, again, all it does do, and there's also it's free, uh, but again, the reason why it's not higher uh, is because that is all it does do, is uh, per gravestone when you die. Yeah, 
But yeah, like I said, if you just want Greystone add on and nothing more, then I'd highly recommend that. That is a really good one. Next up, we've got Horror Survival. Again, if you're wanting a Horror, uh, Horror Realm, it's good, but I wouldn't really recommend it outside of like a horror themed realm or a for like Halloween or whatever. If you just again want to run all year, you're all year round. So, next up is health bars. Why did I re review so many different like health bars and damage indicator add-ons? Again, you should consider it, compare, you know, watch my video on it and the other ones and see which one you like the most. You do it. Come on, there we go. Yes. And I'll put that there. Next up is Hiker's Friend. Now this one I'm going to put in between probably shouldn't add and uh, should consider because again it's not really going to hit your world but it just doesn't really add anything super doesn't really add anything super good that I can really just like, oh yeah, you should look into it. It's just like kind of like a very meh add-on. So let's get that. Put it in uh put it there. Next up we have ho the hover add on. Yep. Again, just like the pass two. They must have a pass two. Uh, how uh, fiend add-ons. There we go. Next up is the Hydra Busters add-on. Now that was, now that add-on I'd say a bunch of like uh, new Hydra boss battles. 
And it is a, uh, you know, it is a fun like boss battle kind of thing. It's not super difficult. So I'm gonna play, and you should you should consider it if you want like a, a bunch of new boss battle add-ons. But you don't really get anything super good from the ad. Actually, yeah, you know, you do get a bunch of like uh, weapons and armor and stuff. So yeah, pretty good add-on, but I wouldn't highly recommend it because um. That is all it does, it just adds some high boss battles and that's it. Oh god damn it, why has it now deselected that stuff? I... Ah! I specifically selected this, like... Why? Like, why can't they make it so that if they just... Like, if you manually selected it, added it, then it wouldn't remove it unless you then manually went to remove it. Why does it think? Because I'm ha adding that Hydro Boss Battle text and it thinks I don't want the add on text. Stupid. Next up is the info items. Oh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Yeah, so... Hmm. I can't really recommend this because it's not like... Yeah, the items in it do... You know, they, they, they do work and it's like a well-made add-on, but it's not like super useful. My opinion. So I'm just going to put it in between them because. It's not really very good, and I can't really recommend it, but it's not going to harm your world if you add it onto your world. Legendary Armors. I don't remember this one. Hmm. I remember, I think this was a decent add-on. If I remember correctly, it was a decent add on. Magic select. Ian. A legend, yeah, legendary. Next up is the bath bombs add-on when it, the whole like promotion between Minecraft and Lush. I'm gonna put this in your population add because it's not a very useful add-on. Pretty sure it was free. So that's why I did a review on it, just because it. Yeah, I don't know. Ugh! Ugh! Really? Not, not last night, but the night before I didn't get much sleep, so I got good sleep last night, thankfully, but. Uh, yeah. That's why I'm tired this morning. Uh, mob armor. I 
Yeah, that was a decent add-on. So you should definitely consider it. Magic select, next. Add, add. Yeah. Cut. Uh, oh no, <laughs> wrong one. Uh, I wasn't didn't mean to put it in there. Uh, I'm gonna put this in. You should you should consider it. Like, go watch the review if you like the mob armor add-on. Then you should definitely add it in. But if you don't like it, then you know. Okay. Ah. Uh. Next up, we have the Morph Gauntlet add-on. I'm pretty sure it, uh, Yeah, this is the Morph Gauntlet one. Uh, and I'm going to put this in highly recommended. Because it is a cool add-on. And I do really like it. So it's just like fun being able to like morph into the different mobs and it's also got uh, cross add-on compatibility with another one that I'll talk about later. And then we have the morph add-on. Which is Similar to the Morph Gauntlet, but there are distinct differences that I think make this slightly worse. So, I, I could see why someone would want to use that Morph add-on over the other Morph add-on, because uh, when I did a comparison of the two, there are some things that the Morph add-on did better. Like, uh, in the Morph add-on, if you morphed into a zombie, then you won't get attacked by other hostile mobs, which isn't something the Morph Gauntlet does. But in the Morph add-on, you need to kill the mob before you can transform into it. In the morph gauntlet, you just need to hold the gauntlet out and to be near the mob. So they do have like distinct differences that, that, uh, that I could understand why somebody would want to use one and not the other. But in my personal opinion, the morph gauntlet is, is just a little bit better. And now I'm just waiting for Mojang to make it bring over that com uh, command from Java edition that makes it so that you can change the player's size and hitbox so that they can so that the morph gauntlet and morph add-on can make it so that when you transform the just chicken you'll actually be one block tall. So next up is the mutants add-on. I reviewed this ages ago and it's not received a single update. Um it's kind of disappointing, I feel like they could have added a bunch of new mutants and a bunch of new items based around the whole mutants and all that, but... Yeah, the, ultimately this is going into our uh, don'ts. Just, yeah, this is one of the few add-ons I can wholeheartedly say you should not add to your realm or world or whatever. Because the mutant mobs are like the zombie throws exploding has exploding attacks. 
the creeper has exploding attacks, obviously, and the, the, the chicken breathes fire, which sets stuff, you know, on fire and burns down houses and stuff. And basic, so basically, they're just like very destructive, and you don't re really get anything good from them. There's no like mutant armors or weapons or anything, and it's just kind of just not very good for your world. Oh, she's snoozing. She's uh, oh, she's in, oh, she's having a bad dream. It's okay. Let me hear. Anyway, next up is the machinery add-on. I'm gonna put this in, you should consider it. It does have some cool things, but it's not been updated since, and it's kinda... Yeah, it is a decent add-on, and it does have some cool things, but... I just think that there's just better add-on, you know, there's all just like uh, the redstone add-on basically adds a bunch of stuff from this and it does it better in my opinion, so it's just kind of outclassed, unfortunately. But it is like really well done, like, so, like the animations and like, some of the stuff is really cool, it's just Kinda. You, you, sh you could consider it, like, if you want to, like, go, like, all in on, like, a, uh, factory, uh, like, machine-style realm or something, but it's kinda hard to really recommend. Uh, properly recommend. Mage Mania. Yeah, no, no, I can't really recommend that. Yeah, like, uh, I think like in my review I said, I basically just like said, like, it's just not really worth it. Again, it's not really gonna harm you, Will, it's just like, it's not going to do any real, it's not going to do damage to your world, it's just not very good. So I'm going to play between those two, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's I can go there, Mage Mania. Oh, magic spells. I've not actually used that on in a while. There are some like cool spells and stuff, but it just didn't really get updated much. I think it did actually get one update. Uh, yeah, one point one update. Okay, so yeah, they have updated. I'll, I'll probably check out that update uh, soon. So I'm going to put this in. You, you should definitely consider it because it does have some cool spells and stuff. And you, and you should definitely like subscribe and uh, wait uh, for the update video to come out on it. Now I'm actually gonna put know this down on my phone because I have a like a private server that's just got me Discord server that's just got me in it uh, where I know down things. So YouTube video and stream ideas. 
Uh, magic spell, magic spells add on update review. And uh, when I've, uh, when I, and I'll probably like keep this, uh, I'll save this and what I'll do after like every review is I'll probably like uh, fit them, put them in one of these categories. So yeah, uh, you should definitely consider it because it does have some cool things. And like I said, subscribe and, uh, uh, and I'll do an update video on it. And in that update video, I'll update uh, its placing on here. Markers. My markers by Foxy No Tail is really cool. It, well, not really cool. It is really useful. Ah, uh, well, it's only really useful if you're like more into like the technical kind of stuff. So I'm gonna put it just between like highly recommended and you should consider it uh, because it's. Like if you are like if you like build farms and stuff and need this kind of information, then it is uh, definitely a good add-on and you will want to have it. But if you don't, if you if you're not in, if you don't really know that kind of stuff and not really into it, then I can't. Then it's not really gonna be useful for you. So it's right in the middle of those two. It's not like one of those add-ons that's going to completely change up how the game plays, either. Uh, mech suits. Um... I'm gonna put this in. You probably shouldn't add it because it doesn't really. I don't think it's really good. I just don't think it's really that good. Like it's cool. It, the, they look cool, but ultimate the impact on the survival experience ultimately is like not really that good. It gives you a mech suit right at the beginning of the game, and that's a bit too p. Because it means you have like a basically a free way of like traveling around the world quite quickly, and I just don't think it's really well that good. So and ultimately, it's not really going to do any like damage to your world, but I just don't think it's well. I, I just think it's a bit OP, a little bit OP. Just giving you one at the beginning. So yeah, I'm gonna put it here. I just, I just can't really recommend it. And mob plushes is kind of the same thing. It gives, it adds cute mob plushes, but uh, ultimately it's just oh, like unless you want to use them for decoration, it's just not very good. Oh, I did not want to do that. Ian. Yeah, like I said, give more pushes, but it impact on the uh on like the survival aspect of the game is not really that good mobs in a bottle if i remember correctly i didn't really like this add-on apparently got updated what's the update
Eh. Yeah. I'm gonna stick this into the pro probably shouldn't use. Oh wait, no. Ah, mm. uh, I completely missed. I didn't add the arrow. Magic select can be annoying. Wait, why is it got why Why well, that should do it. So put that there. I missed the bay apparently, I I, I just don't care. What did I miss? Oh, a bit of his leg. Whatever. It's not that important. Next up is the money add-on. Now this I can firmly and uh, definitively say yeah, it's still under the 2.0 update. Do not add to your world. Uh, cause like I uh like I said in the update video, they removed the ability to like convert uh their money stuff in back in, into like diamonds and stuff for some reason. So it's again, it's the whole like it's basically pointless now because the money has no value. Oh, fuck! Mm. Why did it grab everything else other than that? God, I hate Magic Select sometimes. It's just so dumb. <laughs> yeah, no, this is... Do not get. I'll probably, like, uh, change this up but at some point and, like, split this into two. From you probably shouldn't add, which will just be like add-ons that I don't think are good, but aren't ultimately going to do damage to your world. And add-ons that I think are just completely worthless and uh, or do damage to your world and that just aren't worth it. Uh, more crops. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in. You probably shouldn't add it because it is a very expensive. It is very expensive to get set up, and it is very. It's just not very good at you know. Just very slow at generating the ores, and it's just like way too expensive for white hat for white does. Come on, magic select.
Right. Uh, anyway, another good one. More ores and tools. I would. I'm gonna put more ores and tools in. Highly recommend. Does it? It just. It does what it says on the tin. It adds more ores and tool and tools. And it is a really good add-on. Um, and it's like semi. -com like it's. I think it's like compatible with Tinker's Construct. But like, uh, so it does show. Uh, it shows text on like when you hit an O, whether or not you can mine, but it doesn't really quite work with Tinker's Construct tools, and it'll say that you can't mine it when you can. It's a bit odd. But yeah! It all in all. Okay. Good add on. Really good add on, and I would highly recommend it. Next up is more TNT add-on. Now, I wouldn't, you know, I, I, I just would not, yeah, add, down into your publishing ad. Cause, well, if you're, like, if you're running an anarchy realm, then I guess it's fine, but if you're running an, a legitimate realm, you're just gonna open yourself up to, like, uh, people coming in and, like, spawning a bunch of, uh, like black hole TNT or whatever, and just like destroying everything. Yeah, so you're just opening yourself up to getting griefed. Yeah, put that there. I didn't do a review of that one. So next up is Naturalist 2.0. Now this is a really good add-on because it adds a bunch of like uh, new uh, mobs around the world and they're really, and it just like makes the world feel more alive and adds a bunch of more variation. And it's also compatible with the Morph Gauntlet add-on where if you've got both add-ons installed, you get the Naturalist Morph Gauntlet, which will allow you to morph into Naturalist Mobs. So yeah, really cool add-on. Uh, the items you get from the mobs aren't super, oh, super useful. Like, you can get like Paul from the pigs and stuff, so yeah, it's kind of cool, but yeah. I would highly recommend adding this on, especially if you if you have the morph gauntlet. New more grind. Uh. After, so, I've added this to the uh, Discord member realm, and one of the uh, guys has made a couple of these, and he's got, like, a lot of, like, gold and diamonds and stuff from it, and his cat. Uh, so this is more like, uh, I'm a little bit iffy on whether or not it's OP. So I'm just going to put this in, uh, in you... Uh, should think about it because you know think about oh god damn it ah oh, fucking hate magic select so stupid sometimes jeez if you know like a, like an app or something I can uh, a software or something I can download that bit that basically does what pain 3D does but better then please let me know down in the comment section below because if if I would really like a, a base of these, that, something that does magic select, but just bear that. Like, Dry! Why are you removing it when I added it? When I added it, and I was just adding bits onto the air, uh, bits adding right. So frustrating sometimes. Anyway. 
So I think you should like consider like what other add-ons you have and the, the, uh, what type of realm you want to do. And just like really consider like all of that before you add that on. Uh, or beetles. Uh, I can't really recommend all beetles because while it's not super expensive to get an all beetle, you know, um, set up, you just gotta find an all beetle and then uh, give it an all to uh, copy and then just like uh, right click them to harvest the ore. Oh no, I didn't. No, uh, whatever. I'll just. Yeah, anyway. Uh, it's, they just don't produce a ton, so you need like a bunch of all beetles to really produce anything, and you can't automate it, you have to do it all manually. So, it's really hard for me to recommend this at, at all, really, so... It is, it is a cool island, it's just... You know... Slow... I think it, I think the speed is like and the and the fact that you have to manually have them is kind of as good with like the ease of setting up, but it's just uh, add-ons that do the that job better. Now maybe if they updated it to like support all the add-ons and it, then it would be higher. But I don't know. Next is all processing. Now I would put all processing into. Con you should consider it because it, it is a uh, on its own. It is quite balanced because it is it it is expensive to get it set up, and it, uh, uh, you need to like manually place and break the blocks. Um, or place it, I mean, yeah, and yeah, so you need to manually place and break the blocks. Uh, but if you have other add ons, it can cause problems. So I made a video showing off that if you have all processing and a couple of other uh, all processing, you can use other add ons to like man uh, set up the uh, you know, basically make it so that you don't have to uh, place them down manually and they just get pushed along automatically. Um, so I've, I did that with like a couple of the uh, other add-ons, but I've uh, changed it now to only use the redstone add-on. But the problem with it is if you, if you have alchemy, alchemy is uh, set up so that it's not with, that in vanilla Minecraft there's not really any major, uh, essence loops so like obviously there will be like uh something you can do to get a little, to get, get a bit of essence a, a bit of extra essence but it, at the end of the day it's not really uh great you know, that broken and it would take you forever to really get any real amounts of essence but the thing uh and like one of the things that we did is we made it so that all don't have an essence value because with if we made the ore have an at the same essence value as say like a war or like uh, if we made iron ore have the same essence value as one war iron, then uh, uh then you know people with fortune would uh, uh, basically be able to get a ton of free essence because they get a bunch of bunch more ore from it. But then if we made it to, um have uh, like the medium, uh, so say, uh, when you harvest the ore with fortune three, you'd have like you can get up to three or all from it. Then we were oh, so we'll make it worth two, but then that makes it so that if you've if you got fortune three, you're still getting a bunch of infinite free, uh, it does reduce the amount of free EMC, uh, not EMC. Essence you're getting from it, but it uh, 
it then also like makes it so that people without fortune kind of get screwed over so but uh with this you can process ancient debris and basically get a bunch of ancient debris uh, like and then get like tongue so you can get ancient debris you de like process it and then get tons of uh never right scraps and then you can make and then you can use alchemy to make a make turn those never right scraps back into ancient debris and have a massive infinite to essence loop so I would definitely say if you want a functioning economy, you do not want all processing plus uh, plus alchemy. Uh, where is it? alchemy? Alchemy, alchemy, alchemy. There is alchemy. You do not want those two together because that that breaks it. Um. So yeah, you should definitely consider the other add-ons that you've got on your world. Uh, pixies. Now I made a mistake in the review of this, and I had to basically publish a video uh, fixing my mis uh, correcting myself. But this is just isn't a very good add-on. What did I just press? I don't know what I just did. I did a thing, and I'm. I hope I didn't screw something up. <laughs> mm. Yeah, just not a very good add-on. Not you don't really get anything that good from it. And the book, it was like. The guidebook wasn't very good, it was like, um, it was like, it, it explained things in two different ways, which caused me a bit of confusion in the review, and yeah, like I said, just not very good. Anyway, poisonous potato, uh, you know, that add-on for the poisonous potato. Uh, yeah, I would not recommend this, because it's a bit OP. Uh, if you are just doing a thing for April Fools, then it be cool, but it's fine. But if you I went to like have it on the realm for an extended period of time, so like I said, it's just OP. Right. Next up, we have Portal Blasters. Uh, now, I have a so I have a bit of a problem with Portal Blasters because uh, they can like break stuff sometimes, like other add-ons. Uh. And they're a bit, it's a bit buggy. It is a decent add on, but it's just a bit buggy and, you know, breaks some stuff sometimes. But it, you know, it was, it's well made. It is well made for the most part. It's just, it's got a few problems. So I'm just gonna. Why? Why do you do the things that you do? Ready view. Pull it out. There we go, Ports Blasters. Now, 
Next up is RPG skills. I, I, after I did a review of this, I played with it for a bit. And yeah, no, it's not very good at all. I cannot recommend this. Magic select. A, B, C, oh, how far in? A, B, C, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. So we're on the 18th letter. So we're almost at the end. Anyway, uh, basically the skills just aren't very good. They just aren't really worth it. I I I mainly I may mostly kept it on because I wanted to use the double jump and it wasn't it just wasn't very good. I leveled it up a bunch and it's and it, I still struggled to get over two blocks sometimes. Oh, this one was also really disappointing. Raft survival. I'm going to put this in would not recommend. Well, basically all the reasons why I said in the video, in the review, we basically, you don't start off with a raft, which kind of defeats the point, and it's just like, you can't really, just like, with this island, you can't just like get a raft and then survive entirely on a raft because um the ships that you need to that we yeah you would need to loot are just too strong without any armor or anything and it's just you know not really feasible to do next up is uh, Re real light reimagined Now, I've had problems with this add-on in the past, where um, it would just like sometimes just erase torches. If I uh, was like holding the torch and I walked by a torch, uh, it would just destroy the torch. Some torch that was placed sometimes, so it can be annoying, but. It, you know, if you want dynamic light, it is a good, you know, works and stuff, so... You might want to consider it, but do consider that you might end up deleting torches sometimes. Don't know if that got fixed. It doesn't appear to have been updated. Realism VFX. Yeah, I'm going to put this into highly recommend because it has just, it basically just has like a lot of really nice looking uh, effects and stuff. So let's put this there. Go yeah, back to Minecraft. So next up is the redstone add-on. Uh, I did have a couple of problems with this add-on, uh, like I said in the review. 
the uh, but uh, all in all, it is a really good add-on, and uh, I'm gonna put it in highly recommend. I uh, have yeah, right, like prop harvester thing, uh, planter thing. That, like I said, that in that in the review that. That uh, wasn't a super big fan of that because it just harvested crops and didn't replant them. Scary add-on. Same with the other horror themed add-ons. And then the, then you've got Scary Nights as well. You know the drill with the scary add-ons. Magic select. Next. Done. I'll put that there. And same with this one. Magic select, next. Done, oh wait, uh, whatever, it's fine. Just missing this torch. Next up is build your own secret doors and the secret doors add-on. So I'm going to put build your own secret doors in you should consider it because it is a cool add-on. Uh, it adds a bunch of like, uh, it, well, it adds basically stuff for you to make custom doors so you can make some really cool doors with it. It's not like amazingly game changing, but you can just basically make cool doors. Next some Minecraft. And then the secret doors add on is gonna go way down. I'm going to put that in not recommended because I, I would just like recommend to just get the uh, make your own one. So anything uh, you can do do in this you can do in that and you can just and you can make it custom. So yeah, uh, this this all this one just basically got entirely outclassed by the new one. Unfortunately for it.
Did I review that? Well, let me double check. I don't know if I reviewed this add-on. I've got like um some add-ons that uh, because I have a realm uh, realms plus, uh, I get some add-ons for free. Check or nope. Yeah, because like a security add-on. Uh, here we go. Secure vaults. I definitely reviewed that. Uh, and I would actually highly recommend this um, for uh, especially for like multiplayer um, realms where it's not quite anarch well also anarchy but also where it's like stealing is fine and stuff. It keeps your stuff safe. Oh no, why did Magic select, deselect that? Oh. Stupid Magic select, stupid. I don't think I missed anything. Yeah. There you go. So yeah, highly recommend that. Uh, spa... Pets. Uh... So, I'm going to put this in, you might want it, you, you, could, you should consider it, because those are, if you want cute pets, then, uh, if you want more cute pets, then this is a good add-on that adds a bunch more cute pets, but, I don't think they're really, and you can also like dress them up in like little hats and stuff, and if you like that kind of thing, you'll like this add-on. Yeah, damn Magic Selects being a pain with this one. But it's ultimately not going to change your survival experience a ton. It's just like if you want, like I said, if you want to dress up your cute pets. I need to review that spell books. Uh, honestly, spell books. Yeah. It does add some cool things, but it's not really that good. So I'm gonna put it in here as well. And you should consider it. Like there are some cool things in it, but ultimately. It is not the greatest because there are just like some books in there that are just not good. Again, if you want more, uh, me to go into more detail about that, there's a review on this channel. Like, again, there's a review of every one of these on this channel, and, may, and it probably also update videos if there's been updates to them. Uh, and there's the SpongeBob SquarePants add-on. Now, if you don't want to get copyright claimed on your videos, do not play this because I got free well, on my review. 
which is what, uh, which is a, which was a pain in the bum. Uh, but I can't really recommend this for a regular survival um, world. Like, it, like you, if you have a kid, it be you know, they'd have fun like playing it, to, uh, you know, on its own. But yeah, not it doesn't. It's not really good as like you know for like a survival realm or anything. I mean, you you can build with like all the different blocks. So if you want if you want to add it, just so you can use the blocks it adds uh, to build with, and yeah. Okay, so we've got two add-ons that are going to go in the exact same place. The, uh, the storage drawers uh, add-on and the stuff add-on. Also, storage drawers got updated. And I plan on doing a review on that probably tomorrow. Uh, but these both are going in highly recommended. I highly recommend having one or both of these on your realm. Or world. Yeah, expect a review of... Come on! Magic select. Oh. Okay, it did come, it, it hit me and I was like, okay, okay, I'll, get, I'll throw you a bone. Won't make you suffer this time. But yeah, they're both really cool storage add-ons. And, and, there, and there are reasons to use both of them, like, uh, I'm, well, I need to double check after this update, but I'm pretty sure stuff it can store more of a single item, but storage drawers is cheaper, but, uh, it also has a different, a new type of drawer that I've noticed, because I have it on my realm, and I've noticed it, and it, yeah, so they, so yeah, like I said, they, you can have them both, ah. Uh, I know one of the biggest disappointments in uh, uh, one of the d biggest disappointing add-ons of all time, Technica. It was one of the first add-ons ever made. It never got updated. It never really worked quite right. And it, it is just so disappointing. And also the book didn't really explain everything very well. So I cannot recommend this. And next up we have the back rooms. Uh, again, it'll go with the other horror themed add-ons. Yeah, it's gonna have to give it there. Uh, 
Alright, so Minecraft. Almost done. Uh, just a few more. Next up is the Uncrafter. I would highly recommend this. Uh, so you can uncraft a bunch of items. You don't get everything back from it. From everything like uh, some stuff you do get like reduced stuff back. Like uh, tools you don't get all the materials back and the can. And it doesn't give you more than like one of them. One, more than one item back from like a crafting recipe. So some things and uh, you'd say you don't get everything back. But it's a... Uh, it's quite good, like, if you craft too many, many of something and that, that you don't have the, uh, alchemy station yet to just convert it into essence. But yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna go take a five minute break real quick. Uh, I need to check on something, so I'll be back. Right, next up is Tinker's Construct, and uh, I had a little bit of a think about this, and I it, it's a, it's a must have add on. Like it it, it just adds new weapons, uh, new tools, and just like a new like smelting system, and it's just so awesome and great, and it is a must have add on in my opinion. It is just like probably I don't I don't know if it's the best add-on, but it is a strong contender for the best add-on. Now, to all, uh, I actually had a bit of uh, I had this add-on on the well and uh, encountered a really bad problem with it. So this add-on is tools, and it basically can craft some uh, like useful tools to help you in your world, and it's a decent uh, idea. The problem is, when I made the Astral uh, Power Armor, it gives you night vision. And it, something was taking away my night vision, so I was constantly getting night vision and taking away night vision. And if I was in that, it hit my eyes. I'm not, like, really photosensitive, I think it's called, or whatever. Basically, you know, like, flashing lights don't hit my eyes too much. Uh, as much as, like, uh, some people who are more sensitive to that kind of thing. But it was hitting my eyes, and if you were like, if you were, if you're prone to epilepsy, that would have given you an epi ep epileptic fit. Uh, so, if you have other add-ons that give you night vision, prepare to have an epileptic fit because, it, yeah, it. If I wasn't so bad when it was brighter, but when in, when in, when I was looking in dark areas, it was. Horrible. It was unbearable. So that one, that so because of that, because this is the only add-on I and they don't have a Discord, otherwise I would have reported this to them. That's that. That's why because this is the only add-on that could realistically kill you in real life. It goes down there. Uh, the more totems add on, or new totems, or whatever it's called. And yeah, add some decent totems with like some decent abilities. But it's not a game changer, so you should consider it because it is a decent add on, but. Like I said, it's not a uh, game changer, it's not like the most revolutionary add-on of all time. But you know, it doesn't have to be. So I'm going to put it down here. Next up is okay. Just got three, three, six, nine, ten, eleven more to go. Next up is the utilities add-on that never got updated, and I remember it not being super good. I had a couple of things, but I'm not 
a super big fan of it. So, I can't really recommend it, because it's not really useful. At least I don't remember it having any like really good use that makes me want to use it. You can just go there. There's no real point in adding it. Next up. Hold on, where's my mouse gone? There it is. Next up is the ultimate trading add on. Uh, so this is the. Uh, this is very similar to uh, the to Economy Plus, and it's gonna basically get the same position as like in between them, and because uh, like it's got some cool stuff, and they can, and that, and they're, they're both of them can be used on the same world. It's just that neither of them are like uh, it. It, it has a custom currency, which is not as good as or in dev as economy pluses, and also it's a little bit worse, but just like by a little bit. It's not like m massively bad. It's not really bad. It's that much worse. It's just like a little bit worse, but honest. Uh, but basically the same idea with like economy plus. If they just like revamp the. Uh, currency and make it to actually like uh, tradable for uh, like diamonds and gold and iron and stuff then it'll be uh, in the highly recommended tier but as is right now is kind you should consider it and I rec I I I guess I like 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 the kind of like recommended, but not whole, but like kind, you know, kind of, oh, you know, not super, high, not highly recommended, but it's it's pretty good add on. Just needs work. Uh, villagers plus plus. I don't think much to this add on. I yeah, it just adds new villager types. Really, just like kind of not great. It's just mm. I'm gonna put it in <sighs> I don't wanna put it in you probably shouldn't add, but I don't really wanna put it in you should consider I don't think it's really that good. No, I think I'm gonna move Mage Mania down into that into that proper. I'm gonna put villagers plus plus there. Waypoints. It's a decent add-on, it works, it's simple. It's something 
a lot of people do ask. Also, I guess you sh you put could now play and you should consider it. At least. So done. So I'll put it in there. Ugh. Uh, evolving weapon. Oh, you got updated to 2.0. What did the update add? I think he just added more, probably. New materials, wandering weapon trader, ruby and sapphire, turtles, five new weapon types, uh, VFX and SFX to all weapons, fixed several gameplay bugs, added gameplay, yeah. I'm just not a super big fan of it, this add on. So I'm going to. Put it. Oh god damn it, I've filled that to you up. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Okay. And magic select next. Yeah, the Magic Select does not like this one. And it's removed what I added. Why, did, why would it think I wanted the thing that I added? Yeah. Come on. Go there. Oh yeah, I remember weapon fusions. I think I really, if I remember correctly, I really did not like that one. That was, I reviewed that one ages ago. Oh, mm, hold on, unicorns. Okay, so I put uh, that one, the weapon fusion one in there. Uh, next up is the wolf expansion add-on. Does add some cute uh, new wool, uh, wolves to tame and uh, all that, so... Yeah, if you like dogs, uh, then you'll like this add-on. If you don't like dogs, then you're a monster. So, yeah, you should... Uh, oh, for fuck. Come on. Stupid thing. So, yeah, you should at least consider this for your world. Let me just put it in there. Mm. 
de disque. Yeah, next up is World Utilities. Oh no, ah, I got Essentials and World Utilities mixed up. Uh, World Utilities is the one where you have to craft the... Uh, Oh, I got them, those two mixed up. Uh, World Utilities is the one where you have to craft the tree captator essentials. You don't have to craft the tree captator. Uh, you just need any axe. But um, it do, uh, essentials one does do damage to your tools. Where you, World Utility, you need to craft it, but it doesn't. Uh, your your uh, tools don't lose durability. Uh, and with uh, essentials you can in the book you can turn leaf breaker off if you uh, uh, don't want that on. Oh god damn it! Bloody magic select. But yeah, uh, essentials can turn a bunch of stuff off, but you can't turn everything off. Uh, in World Utilities, you can literally turn everything off. And yeah, those two, I, I, I use both of them a lot of the time. Uh, and they are both uh, amazing add-ons. In new hearing rate. Right, down to the last three. So we have XP Crystal Bank. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll actually recommend this. I don't know if strongly, but I definitely recommend this add-on. Uh, because if you don't want to lose your XP, then this is the best way to make sure you don't or if you die. So I'm going to put it right in between these two uh yeah xp storage i did a review of this um so i i was gonna do a review of it when it first came out but then i heard i was like uh not working probably so i decided i delayed the review uh to let them get some updates out so that you can uh like fix anything that needs fixing uh, and it's not the greatest it's not really uh, easy to understand and the, the book lies to you and it's just kind of not super great like it has its uses but it's, n it's not quite it, it just needed but fixing up and they just never fixed it up and I doubt they will fix it up. So I'm going to put it here. Shrink down. 3D view. Bring it forward. 3D view. I'm going to put it there. It has its uses, but it's not overall great. It just needs fixing them. Unfortunately, it probably never will. And last but not least, the zombies add-on. Again, it's going to go in with the other like horror themed add-ons. Really for spooky month. But other than that, I probably wouldn't use it. Yeah, man. So, yeah. Hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Uh... So we're going to, uh, and 
you let me know, you know, if you disagree with me, let me know down in the comment section below. But yeah, I think this is a pretty good list of like best to worst. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next video and bye bye.